Hey everyone at home or wherever you happen to be, I'm Miss Jamie and welcome back to another Art Explorations for Kids. So today we're going to celebrate the spring season by creating a cute chick peeping out of its eggshell. We're also going to look at collage, which is an art form that takes different mediums and is a practice of applying those mediums to one piece, oftentimes putting different layers of papers on top of one another. So we're going to start off with our jumbo jet black pencil. And we are going to create an egg on one side of our paper and our chick on the other side. So if it helps you to keep your drawing separated, you can go ahead and draw just a light line down the center. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you're just doing a little bit of a guideline. So that way, when you're going to go ahead and cut out these two different pieces in just a few moments, you're not gonna be cutting over one picture or another. You have plenty of space to work with. So we're gonna start on our left side make a nice giant egg shape bring it up and curve it smaller towards the top and so we're going to come over here and make our little chick character we want to give him a nice big round head and then we're going to bring down his body and we only need to bring it down a little bit because we're gonna have him peeping out of the egg so the egg is gonna come in front of him then we're gonna come in here about midway in create a V and then finish up the top for a beak and we're going to give him two huge round eyes. Two big pupils, that little highlight at the top. Then we're going to go ahead and shade in the pupils with our jumbo jet black pencil. Okay, and because he's popping out of this egg, we want to give him some really wide wings that he's flapping. So, we're going to start over here on our right side and just a little bit down from this little curvature in here. We're going to make a curve out and create his first wing flap down, come up, and curve in, and there we have our first wing. So now we're just going to repeat that on the other side. Curve up, first wing flap in out, down, and around. Okay, so now we have our chick and our egg. So now we want to go ahead and add some detail into our egg. Around this time of year, lots of people are decorating eggs with fun colors and lots of different patterns and things. So we just want to go ahead and do that with our egg right here. So you can add your own pattern, but I'm going to start off so that I have a stripe at the top. And then I'm gonna make a wavy line. I'll do another wavy line to complete this wavy stripe. And you can see that I'm creating a curved line as opposed to a straight line. That's because I'm going around my object. If you look at an egg, it's not flat. It's actually three-dimensional. 
So if you have a graphic or an image on a three-dimensional object, it's going to warp as you see it go around the image. And that's just what I'm imitating here by creating this rounded line, which would normally be a straight line on a flat object. Okay, and I think I want to add four large dots in here. Okay, so now that we have our egg created and we have our chick created, what we want to do is just go ahead and color those in with markers. And if you want, before you put down marker onto your image, because you can't erase marker, what I like to do is something a lot of artists do is create just a little swatch so you can see what the color is going to look like before you apply it to your final image and you can pick out which colors are your favorite and sometimes the color that is on the cap or the outside of your your marker, your color pencil, your paint isn't quite the same as what it comes out on paper so it's just a good practice for you to see what colors you're going to be working with. So I'm going to go ahead do my swatches and color in my egg and my chick and you do the same and we'll come back and we'll work on completing our project. Okay, so welcome back. Now we have our colored in egg and chick and you can see this is one that I have completed from before so it looks a little bit different from the one I was working on at the beginning of the project. Now what we want to do is cut out each piece and I'm going to show you the special cutting technique that we're going to do in the egg. For the chick, we just want to cut around like you normally would around the outline of the chick. However, we're going to create a little hat out of the top of the egg just to go on top of the chick's head. So, now to make the little hat, since he's cracking the egg open, we want to give the illusion that the egg has been cracked. So we're going to start about three-fourths of the way up to the top, right around here. and create a zigzag cut. Okay. So now we have our cracked open egg. We have our chick popping out of the egg. And we have this little hat from Winnie's popped out. So now we want to go ahead and glue these parts together and grab another sheet of mixed media paper so that we can make our background. So we're just going to apply just a little bit of glue to the bottom portion of our chick. You can see I'm just spreading it. You do not need a lot. and just a little bit to the top of his head. And go ahead and apply the egg, the bottom part, and then the top part. Okay, and so while he's drying, we can go ahead and grab another sheet of mixed media paper and we're going to grab our watercolor paints and just imitate some of the fun patterns that we created on our chick's egg. So we're just going to go ahead and dip our brush in the water. Make sure your brush is nice and saturated but not dripping. You don't want too much. And you can just pick out which colors you would like to use. I'm going to start off with this slightly purple pink color. And if you didn't get enough water on your brush, you can go ahead and re-wet your brush and apply more water to the pan. And you want to just see that there are little bubbles coming up so you know that you have 
enough pigment there. And I'm going to start off just by making a single stripe across the top. You'll notice once your brush starts to dry out, you're going to get that streakiness. So just dip your brush again, get some more pigment, and you can come from the other side. Okay, and now we're just going to experiment with different shapes and patterns going all the way down our paper, leaving just a little bit of the paper white in between. And before you start painting, be sure that you have something underneath just to make sure that you don't get your table or anything else nearby dirty. So now we have our background complete and the final part of this project is just gluing our chick right in the center. So like before, I'm going to grab our glue and we just want to apply enough, not too close to the edges so that it squirts out when you press the chick down and also not too much, just a small amount goes a long way. Make sure you press down on all the edges. And I often find what helps is placing a book maybe with a piece of paper in between just to make sure that if you do have some excess glue you don't get it on that book but pressing down and letting it sit for a while so then this piece that you've glued down you're sure to have nice and flat so now we've completed our beginning portion for this project if you're happy with your picture the way it is you can go ahead and stop right here. However, if you would like to work on your picture a little bit more with me, then stick around and we'll begin the advanced portion in just a second. Welcome back to our advanced portion of our peeping chick lesson. So what we want to do now that we have our layout and our chick glued down is just add some more details with our oil pastels. And something fun I want you to notice about this medium is how well it lays over other water-based mediums and you can cover up things that you've already worked on to create further details on top of backgrounds you've created. So let's just go ahead and play with some of that now. 
So you can see we have this wash up here at the top and I'm going to take one of my dark blue pastels and I'm just going to go over that with a squiggling line and you can see how well it covers up what is underneath. So if you've already done a painting and you feel like you want to add more but you've done it in watercolor and you don't want your colors to blend, you really want that, that color to stick out on top, oil pastels are great. So we're just going to keep doing that through the rest of the painting and you can pick out whichever colors you'd like to use and again just repeating the same patterns and shapes that we've done throughout the whole piece. now we have completed our background. We've worked with our oil pastels. I hope that you had lots of fun experimenting, seeing how you could get different effects and different uh, layers going with this medium. If you would like to keep going and add some more detail into the egg of your chick or even to your chick itself, go right ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and call my picture complete. I'm happy with how it turned out and I had so much fun working on this project with you guys. I hope you enjoyed working on it with me as much as I did with you and I cannot wait to see you all on the next Art Explorations for Kids.